So when I was a, when I was a young kid, uh, I spent a lot of time in this small town called Garberville, which is in, in Northern California, up near Eureka. And I had a BB gun and my grandfather worked on a ranch and I would go out by myself and I would lizard hunt. And I must have shot hundreds of lizards uh, and it's something that sort of stayed with me and, I, and it, it's, it's, it's a regret that I had that I, that I did that. Um, and so lizards are sort of significant to me in that way. Uh, maybe in some sort of sense like an apology to what I, what I did. Uh, my father uh, got interested in uh, making fly ties years ago and he had all these materials around that he would fly, make uh, flies with and this is moose mane. So I've attached that to this lizard. And then this came from, it's an aquarium plant. We, we keep um, betas at our house and it's this kind of fighting fish that's in a jar. And uh, this was a plant that was in that, that I took one of the pieces from it and wrapped this thread around it. Uh, this is just made out of balsa wood that I've drawn graphite onto. I also played a lot of baseball as a teenager. I, I, I'm not interested in baseball at all now. I don't watch it or go to games or anything, but um, my kids play baseball, and I had a lot of baseballs around. And this is a, um, I used a wood-burning tool to engrave this ball, and then I dyed it, uh, I, I dyed it pink. This, these are uh, thread wrapped around a piece of metal. So this is another activity that I like to do um, and so that I can generate something that I think is a, a value or that's sort of an everlasting thing through um, doing times when I'm doing nothing or watching television and sort of feeling guilty about wasting time. Here we have a hair catcher. A lot of the objects in my work are things that we use every day and they're things where like parts of our body come into contact with regularly through repetition. Uh, so there's a hair catcher from our uh, shower. Um, and then here are, there's several names of people who I thought may have been teased as children. Another thing that I've done uh, where I, I read names in the phone book and I cut out names of people who, who have names that are humorous. Um, this is another element from our shower. So this is the, like the bath mat. And we, wrote, we keep this one all the time. We rotate it like every three months because you really can't clean them. So things kind of pile up and my studio is in my garage. And so things are regularly kind of entering into my garage on their way out to somewhere else. Um, and they just always kind of end up getting into my work. The, this is a kind of a carved pencil sword. Um, so I've carved all these pencils, another thing that I do when I sit around on the, on the couch watching television. Um, and then in here are a series of sort of trading card photographs. Um, and, I, and I thought that I would take uh, different pieces of art and turn them into something else and, I, and, and give them different functions and kind of do spoofs on different artists. So this is the uh, Andy Goldsworthy piece of the De Young, and I kind of imagine like, well, where did this crack start? And so this is a Andy Goldsworthy ass crack trading card. Um, I have this thing sort of against these really monumental sculptures. Um, and so Sarah is really the, the, the big deal when it comes to that. And this is a, uh, a Richard Serra um, deviled egg piece. So here it is here, one of his sculptures. And there's actually a little tiny Richard Serra standing right there. And then I turned a bunch of his, his work into uh, cheese graters. There's a hoagie, a Richard Serra hoagie. Another hoagie. Cheese grater, uh, and then here's a, a Sarah kind of dessert item. 